Welcome to CitizenPortal.ai. We live in a country rife with challenges. In fact, a recent poll found that more than half of Americans now predict the U.S. will likely cease to be a democracy in the future. We're getting torn apart by forces that seek to divide us. Everything from news media to social media is plagued with bias and intolerance for independent thinking and incivility. Civility is needed now more than ever. Civil engagement and civil discourse need a new, fertile ground where hundreds of millions of people can be citizens first and party members second. This requires informed citizens actively engaged and aware of what is happening, not just at the steps of the White House, but in their own backyard. Hi, Sheriff Mike Smith. Hi, Sheriff Mike Smith. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support, obey, and defend. That I will support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the State of Utah. And the Constitution of the State of Utah. That I will discharge my duties. That I will discharge my duties. Of my office. Of my office. With fidelity. With fidelity. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, Judge. Congratulations. Information is everywhere, but most of us don't know where to find it. You might be friendly with your city councilor and even say hi at the grocery store. But do you know what he or she said at the last city council meeting? You might have voted for certain legislators or senators, but do you know where they stand on issues you care about? You want to be involved in your children's education. But do you know what was discussed at the last school board meeting? Introducing CitizenPortal.ai The first AI-powered Citizen Portal with a powerful video search engine. Easy clipping for saving and sharing. To help keep your family and friends informed. Simply highlight the transcription, make a clip, Let's make it and share it refugee students to integrate into the public education system and gives our public education system the tools they need to uh, address the unique. It really is just that easy. You can know every word spoken by each of your elected leaders on every issue you care about at the city, county, state, and federal levels of government. When was the last time you engaged civilly with your legislator or senator about issues that are important to you? What are the big issues facing our nation that you care about? Why it is that we ought to look at steps to protect religious freedom. It has been said, thriving democracies require a strong base of both trust and distrust of the government. When was the last time you attended a public meeting or voiced your opinion on an important issue? To govern effectively, Leaders need citizens to trust that they are honest and competent. To earn that trust, governments need to be open and accountable to citizens. I, Brandon Gordon. I, Brandon Gordon. I, Emily Powers Gardner. I, Aaron Davidson. I, Robin Young. I, Jeff Gray. I, Jeff Gray. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support, obey, and defend. That I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Utah. And the Constitution of the State of Utah. And that I will discharge. And that I will discharge the duties of my office. The duties of my office with fidelity. With fidelity. We've seen attacks on our criminal justice system. And I can't tell you how happy I am today to see Jeff Gray sworn in as our county attorney and uh, to have him work as a team member with us in law enforcement as we work to keep this county safe. Representative Stratton is a real leader on issues related to public lands, particularly those in the state of Utah. I feel very fortunate to have him here. This received bipartisan support in Utah's legislature, right? Unanimous. Bipartisan. In your experience, uh, 
uh, was this program too big of a challenge? Governments have discovered that new ideas coupled with new technologies are more powerful than bullets and bombs. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, information provides liberating power. It was Thomas Jefferson, our modern father of democracy, who said if a nation expects to be ignorant and free, it expects what never was and never will be. If we expect to be free, to make the best informed decisions or to act out of knowledge rather than ignorance, then we must learn to use our new tools in new ways. Can we pick that conversation up where you were last night? I feel like we don't have many hills left and this one is a hill we should die on. So tell me what you're doing with the coalition and why that's important. Defend Title IX now. Dot com is out there and I'm hoping everybody will go there look at the information it's not the NCAA that you're worried about alone it's what these organizations can do with the woke capital and the woke businesses that's exactly it we have to stand up and defend federal law that's in place women are women and only women should play in women's sport and we can do that in a way that picks a fight that fails or we can do it in a smart way and build momentum so that we can actually win. I've already delivered for them in my state and I will for the country if they will uh, give me the chance to build this coalition and show that we can get it done. Uh, Governor Christy Nome, I think you're doing the exact right thing and a lot of people don't understand that yet. Uh, that is a good hill yeah. to not die on but to live on. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Glenn. You Appreciate bet. It. Governor Christy Nome. It's easy. One. Sign up. Two, enter your zip code and three, choose keyword alerts to stay informed on what your elected officials are saying. Be informed. Get involved. Sign up at www.citizenportal.ai today.